You know how a distance can be measured in miles or in kilometers? Or how the volume of a bottle can be measured in liters or in ounces? In either case, we have two different units of measure being used to measure the same thing. Well, that's sort of the same thing with radians. They're a unit of measure for angles, similar to degrees, but different. By now, you probably know degrees pretty well. You're familiar with 30, 60, 90 triangles and 45, 45, 90 triangles. And you know there are 180 degrees in a triangle and 360 degrees in a circle. Radians work much the same way, but they aren't degrees. A radian is an angle made if you pick up a circle's radius and wrap it around the circumference. It works out to approximately 57.296 degrees. That's great to know, but if you don't remember this conversion, don't worry. There are two pi radians in a circle. This fact should be easier to remember because they will give it to you in the formula box at the beginning of each of the math sections. You'll know you're dealing with a radians question if you see the word radian or radians. In other instances, you'll see an angle, but instead of a degree symbol, it will be labeled with the letter pi. So if you see the word radian in a question or the letter pi marking an angle, there are two ways to approach it. The first is to solve the question in terms of radians. The second is to convert the radians to degrees. Some high school students will be very comfortable working with radians. If you're one of them and you get a radian question and would like to solve it in radians, go ahead. Just make sure your calculator is in radian mode if you plan to use it. How do you do that? Well, let's take a look. Okay, so you've got your amazing TI-84 and you want to put it in radian mode. Follow these steps. Press mode, use the arrow keys to highlight radian, and then press enter. And just like that, you're in radian mode. Solve your question, do what you need to do. When you're done, switch back to degree mode. Press mode. Use the arrow keys to highlight degree and then press enter. Most students will find it easier to convert the radians into degrees. So let's talk about conversion. As we previously discussed, the formula box at the beginning of each math section tells you that there are two pi radians in a circle. It actually says the number of radians of arc in a circle is two pi. Now that we know how to convert radians to degrees, let's practice. Here's a question similar to one you might see on the SAT. In the figure above, the circle has center O and has radius 2. Central angle AOB has a measure of 4 pi over 9 radians. What is the area of sector AOB? The answer choices are A, 2 pi over 9, B, 4 pi over 9, C, 8 pi over 9, and D, 4 pi. As always, we'll start by underlining the facts, circling the keywords, and labeling the answer choices. Now our central angle is measured in radians. We know this because the question uses the word radians and because the angle is written with the letter pi, not with the degree symbol. As we've discussed, it's often easier to convert the radians into degrees. We know that pi radians equals 180 degrees, so we can replace the pi in the angle with 180 degrees. We get four times 180 degrees over nine. Divide 180 by 9, and we get 4 times 20 degrees, or 80 degrees. So we know 4 pi over 9 radians equals 80 degrees. Let's fill that into the picture. We're looking to find the area of sector AOB, which is 80 degrees. We can use our sector area formula. Sector area over total area equals central angle over 360. We're looking to find the sector area, so that's x. The total area of the circle is pi r squared. The radius is 2, so we can plug that in right now. And as we found, the central angle is 80. Let's do a little work. First, 2 squared is 4, and we can reduce 80 over 360 to 8 over 36. 4 divides evenly into both 8 and 36, so we can actually reduce that down a little further to 2 over 9. Now it's time to cross multiply, and we get 9x equals 8 pi. Divide both sides by 9, and we find that our x, our sector area, equals 8 pi over 9. So c is the correct answer. Great job. That was a lot of work. But as always, it just takes some practice before you're a pro. So let's go over one more thing before we wrap up this lesson, converting degrees to radians. If you need to convert degrees to radians, multiply by pi over 180. We know that 360 degrees equals 2 pi radians but let's see how it works out with this conversion formula. 360 times pi over 180. That's 360 pi over 180. 180 goes into 360 twice, so we're left with two pi. 
the conversion worked. Remember, if you're not comfortable working with radians, you can always convert them to degrees. And to help you, there are plenty of practice questions in this course, so go answer a few.